Hello, this is an update on relaxing my hair. At this point, my hair is about 16 weeks post relaxer and it's ready for a touch up. So we're gonna be using the olive oil cream relaxer. I use a lye relaxer system and those are all the tools that I'll be using. The neutralizing shampoo and some petroleum jelly. In order to prep my hair for the relaxer, the seven days previously I did a deep conditioning protein treatment on my hair. I kept it nice and moisturized in twists, ready for the relaxer today. My sister is helping me out and the first thing that we do is to separate the hair into sections that we will then base. I'm also wearing an old t-shirt that I don't mind if it gets damaged and once everything is based and ready we're going to start applying the lye relaxer just to the roots. When it comes time to apply um, the chemical on the hair uh, please note that I have made sure to absolutely base everything with petroleum jelly and my entire forehead and my hairline. We use the brush and we start at the crown of the head because that's where I have the thickest, the coarsest texture of my hair and it needs the full 12 minutes in order to process. My hairline doesn't need as long so we tend to do the hairline last and we keep it no more than 12 minutes. That's the maximum that I will put it on my hair for and that leaves it really quite nice and uh, texturized. The key here is just focus and making sure to get everything done as quickly as is possible without getting the cream relaxer onto the hair that's already been uh, processed and I always try and make sure that I do a toilet break before we start this section because there's no time for toilet breaks during this particular section of uh, doing the hair. We then move on to smoothing down the relaxer that's on the new growth and that's just to make sure that it is evenly spread out everywhere that it is supposed to be whilst taking care to keep as much of it away from the already processed hair as is possible. So the last two minutes of having uh, the cream relaxer on the hair is actually spent just smoothing it and getting as much of the excess cream relaxer off as is possible before we then have to wash it off. I think this is the most important part of the relaxer process um, next to keeping it for no longer than 12 minutes on my hair. I literally will spend a good 10 minutes just rinsing out, washing out that cream relaxer before I start using the neutralizing shampoo. But I take my time with this stage. Once I've washed out all of the cream relaxer for my hair, I then go into the shower and that's where I'm going to use the neutralizing shampoo whilst I'm in the shower and I will spend a good 10 minutes doing that with the neutralizing shampoo and then after that I am done with that process and everything looks nice and sleek and then the next thing is to do a deep conditioning treatment on my hair since it's been through a chemical process and for that I use the Kara Care. It's a really good conditioning treatment. And here's a top tip guys, even if it looks like your conditioning treatment has run out, cut it in half because there's still loads of product in there. So that's what I do and I got all of that from what was otherwise an empty bottle. With this Caracare deep conditioning treatment, I will put a plastic cap on and then I will sit under a hooded dryer for 10 minutes just to get the heat to activate all of the great properties of it before I then wash it out. The next step is to do the leave-in conditioner and again I use the Karake Humectoline. I'll use the leave-in conditioner and then I'll seal it using the jojoba oil. That's about how much I actually put uh, on and I just make sure to spread it over all of the ends and the entire strands of hair. Because uh, we did this early in the morning, I basically decided that I wanted to do a vintage roller set which would stay on and air dry for the rest of the day. 
I really love a vintage roller set. I tend to do this about once every two months or so simply because it does take a lot of time but it creates these beautiful curls that are just so much fun to work with especially after I've just relaxed my hair. And that's how it looks after I remove all of the rollers. It's late at night now so the lighting is a little bit uh, crazy but it's light and it's bouncy and it's beautiful and straight and I love it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up down below.